So we're going to start off here. If there was one tool that you could ship to any product team or development team, what would it be? I'm biased, but currently it would be Claude Code. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a good one. We were just talking about metrics. What is one metric you think you can more or less ignore now and a new metric that is becoming super important that you would focus on? Um, how many pods are in your cluster? No, I don't know. Just, uh, <laughs> uh, um, but, but I think it's, uh, the, the biggest underestimated thing is what's bringing in the value. Like, yeah, like that, that is still like a problem for engineers. Uh, this one here, a little bit left field, but we're going to do it. AI incident response. What do you think AI incident response should include or look at that traditional security incident responses may have ignored uh, or or didn't didn't focus on? Yeah, a question I get often, and um, there's a lot of obviously you know yeah we give the agent more docs and it's it's kind of coming up with hypothesis. If if it's only that you could say it's a human on steroids, but if I think it actually spins up instances and comes up with hypotheses and test hypotheses, then we are a step further uh, in that way instead of just giving suggestions and handing that over to a human. And last one here, 2026 prediction. Will we have an agent orchestrator as kind of a core platform or is it too early or will we not have it all? Agent orchestrator, meaning kind of an orchestration platform for all of the AI agents that we will be managing. I think agent orchestrators for coding is already here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that one, that one, that one was easy. I might have yeah. to cut that one out. You will. <laughs>